I've got a fun demo for you today. Uh, this is a Gamesduino 2 with the FTDI FT800 video processor. And I'm actually doing a little uh, hack here. I'm streaming some frame data from a webcam into one of the bitmap handles, which allows me to update the display in real time. So this is a really interesting processor because it has uh, displayless functionality. So it's a compositing video processor. So what I do is I basically say, give me a bitmap. Um, I'm going to put some stuff in it. I want to paint it here, here, and here, and rotate a copy of it. And then I simply refresh the contents of the bitmap repeatedly over and over and over again from, the, uh, from a webcam that I've got connected to this board. Um, it's a really cool demo, and I don't think this would be possible without the hardware uh, compositing features of this processor, simply because of the fact that you would have to cache the image uh, and then apply transformations um, in the processor rather than just having it generated pixel by pixel, line by line, and so on. So I'm going to zoom out and give you a quick little overview of the hardware. It's a really cool demo. So here's an overview of the hardware. Um, basically, I've got an STM32 Nocleo board. Um, that's with the uh, STM32 F4 processor. I've got a Gameduino 2 sitting on top, which has the FT800 video processor built in. Um, and then this is the webcam that I'm using to grab frame data. Um, it's not the best webcam by any means. It's about, I don't know, uh, 10 years older. It's, it's almost 20 years old, actually. It was released in about 1996. Um, it uses a parallel interface to get the frames. Um, so I wrote a driver that effectively emulates the parallel port, port interface of the computer and then implements the commands on top of that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's 320 by 240 native resolution, but you'll only be able to grab about one frame per second at that uh, quality. So the frames you were seeing earlier were only uh, 80 by 60, which is extremely small by today's standards. Um, but what's interesting is that I had the FT800 configured to scale the images up in hardware, and that's using uh, bilinear interpolation, which means that uh, you're not going to get the extremely jagged appearance that you would normally get with something like Nearest Neighbor, um, which is really, really cool. So in, you know, for the whole, the whole display here, everything is bilinear interpolated, including the rotation, um, which is pretty neat. Um, so this is the interface on the back. I'm basically using a bunch of the non-used pins um, of the uh, nuclear board, whatever wasn't conflicting with the video processor. Um, this is just my debugging cable uh, to the PC. And to power the camera, um, so back in the old days, you would remember um, things were powered with a wedge. Basically, it would sniff power off of the PS slash 2 bus. Um, so I made a little adapter that takes a USB-B cable and converts it to PS slash 2, but only gives it 5 volts. Um, so it's just a really simple pass-through cable. But that's pretty much it um, in terms of hardware. Um, it's, it's a really cool demo. It's surprisingly simple. I think the whole thing is maybe 300 lines of code or something like that. That's including the driver for the camera and so on. Um, so it's, it's not terribly complicated. Um, I would like to get a better image sensor to try and do something, you know, 640 by 480 and do scaling down rather than scaling up um, would be kind of interesting. Um, the other thing too is the major limitation here is the data rate of the camera. So um, what I do actually, there's no Im copy of the image retained in the CPU memory. Um, it's basically just get me a pixel from here and then write it to the bitmap handle here. Um, and those happen over and over again back and forth. Um, the problem with that is the camera is very, very slow, um, which just slows down the whole thing. So if I had a faster camera, I would be able to get a much higher frame rate. Um, currently the SPI bus is running at 21 megahertz and the uh, Gameduino is handling it just, just fine. Um, I had some rolling color bar demonstrations running earlier. so. So I'm going to change up the demo a little bit. I'm going to increase the resolution to 320 by 240, and then uh, I'll show you what that looks like when you have a higher quality image coming in. So here's the camera running at uh, a little bit higher resolution, uh, 320 by 240, and you can actually see the images rolling through the frames here. Um, so yeah, the limitation here is definitely the camera, but uh, it's a really cool demo. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I will see you next time.